Hi guys, it's Ken here. Just before we go into this uh, podcast short, I'd just like to let you know about my new website, gab2.com. It's a platform for English learners to connect and to practice speaking English with other learners. We have audio chat rooms and video chat rooms, and also you can text as well. For members, there are three drop-in conversation classes every week with myself, where you can practice with a native speaker. So check it out, gab2.com, G-A-B-T-O-O.com, and hopefully I'll see you there. Hey, it's Ken here. This podcast short is with myself, Ajarn Ken, along with Teacher David and Teacher Stu from Instagram. Now, the question that we had from one of our followers was to explain the difference between who and whom. It's really, really interesting to have teachers together where we can discuss different ways to explain grammar rules, etc. Because everyone's different. So hopefully you can learn from the three of us and if you're not already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications and you can check out all our other social media as well. So I'll speak to you soon. Another one we have here, this is pretty easy. What is the difference between who and whom? Pretty basic grammar question, but although it does kind of confuse a lot of students, doesn't it? Who and whom, we get asked this quite a lot, a lot of times, yeah? Who, who wants to who wants to answer this? Who would like to go into this? Uh, yeah, sure, I don't mind. So oh. it's basically to do with the subject and the object, isn't it? But yeah. that's kind of technical. So let's say uh, the subject is the per- the thing or something that's doing something, and the object is the thing it's being done to. So we use who when referring to the subject, and we use whom referring to the object. It's a bit more than that, but that's the easiest way to remember, I think, isn't it? So, for example, have you got an example? Uh, who am I talking to? Ooh, and who then, am I talking to? Uh-huh. And then whom? Uh, good question. <laughs> I am no, talking think, to whom? I am talking I, to whom? I, to whom? I think we would say, and this is why it's a bit confusing, isn't it? Mm. I think we would say... I was trying to, to reverse whom, that. But... To whom am I talking to? Because uh, Sorry, to whom? To, I'm yeah, to because whom. I'm the I'm doing the action, yeah? Mm. But in English, as you say, in English, we, we don't actually say to whom am I talking, you know? It's yeah. very, very... It sounds cool. very Shakespeare-esque. Yeah, it sounds it? very, very archaic, doesn't it? So, yeah. I'm talking... So who is doing the action... And whom is receiving the action? Yeah? Mm. Like way back when I started my YouTube channel, this was one of the first few videos that I made. Like when, ah. I, was, when I was like talking like a robot in front of the camera. So this is one of those videos that I made. I actually remade that video uh, a little, uh, probably beginning of this year. And it was a it was a sponsored post, so I kind of made it again. Um, and I had to do research before making this video myself. Sure. You know. So, strictly speaking, I think we would say, whom am I talking to? But like that, mm-hmm. grammatically speaking, whom would be correct. But we don't speak like that anymore. As you yeah. said, that sounds Shakespearean. So we would say, who am I talking to? But uh, whenever there is a preposition immediately before the word who or, or whom, it would always be whom and we can't swap it with a who. What do you mean, for example? So... Uh, for example, uh, who am I talking to mm-hmm. is correct, yeah. or it's commonly used and it's, it's acceptable. Yeah. Who am I talking to is also grammatically correct. Mm-hmm. But as soon as you put a preposition immediately before the word whom, mm-hmm. you cannot use who. So it has to be to whom am I talking. All um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, and one way that you can tell whether you can use whom or not is to just think about how you'd answer the question. So I would answer the question, uh, who am I talking to, with I am talking to Ken and Stu, uh-huh. or I am talking to them. And the word them, the, the pronoun them, is the object form of the word. It's not I'm talking to they, it's I'm talking to them. Ah. And so that's, that's why we'd use the whom in the question. We're asking about who I'm talking to rather than 
who's doing the tossing. All yes, right. Please. And also as well, like going on that then, whom has an M at the end of the word, doesn't it? Whom. Yeah. It's them and whom kind of merging together, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, good wee tip that, no? Good tip. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. Knocking it out of the park. <laughs> Knock it out of the park. So who would be the subject? Whom is the object? And who does the action and who receives the action? Yeah, in summary, yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. Who yeah. who does the action? Who receives it? I'm yeah. going to steal that. Oh, that's that's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> See, these things are actually good. I think sometimes when we're actually speaking with teachers, we just have general conversation rather than yeah, hundred percent. Go into the the nuts and bolts of how you teach. You know. So I hope you enjoyed that little podcast short and I hope you've learned something from it. It's always great to have different teachers together discussing different aspects of English. Don't forget to check out gab2.com, G-A-B-T-O-O.com for a platform to connect English learners all around the world. And also remember there are three drop-in classes every week for members of Gab2. So I'll hopefully I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.